read the book Larry Bird Drive. This is a book about his life and basically explains it. Larry Bird, when he was in the NBA, he really didn't do much press conferences like most other NBA players. He was more about just going to play the game and leaving and seeing his family and just doing that. And I did my project on the 10 most important things in the book. And the first one is Larry Bird, he grew up poor, in which this is important in the book because Larry realized that money doesn't just grow on trees and that he had to work hard for what he wanted. And he says he realized you don't need money to have fun, in which he means by that is he says in the book how <clears throat> he'd actually do a lot of things where he didn't need money to have fun and do stuff, which he just hung out with his friends and would go play sports and that's really all he liked to do and he didn't need the money to do all that stuff. And number two is when Larry started playing basketball. And when he was young, he didn't play basketball at all actually. And he actually liked baseball as his favorite sport. Then he played his first basketball game when he was in middle school, so he was like in seventh or eighth grade. And he instantly became attached to the game. He started practicing outside of school and working hard to play and become the best, best player he could. So yeah, he didn't play right away, which is very surprising considering the fact that he became one of the best players of all time. And this is important because you think that a player with his high caliber play, game of play, could, would have always been playing the game, but he started pretty late compared to others. And my third most important thing is, his dad was an alcoholic and committed suicide. This was very important because his dad truly loved him and his brothers and his family and it was really hard on Larry Bird because Larry Bird was close with his dad and really enjoyed his company. <clears throat> but his dad figured that they were better off without him after he got into divorce with his with Larry's mother which caused him to just kind of break out and become an alcoholic and spend all of his money on drinking and he couldn't afford to pay for child support so he eventually figured he had no purpose and couldn't provide for his kids and his ex-wife so he figured if he just killed himself and they would be better off and all that but Larry was very disappointed and this was very sad to him but then he realized his dad did it for them because he had a retirement fund and all that money went to them and he just wanted them to have money so they could live their lives. And my fourth one is he talks about the Boston Garden, his fans and all of them. For this he talks about the fans and how they were very supportive of him and made him want to be better for them. He also says how, he, how they were generous and nice and didn't give him any disrespect so his whole career he played at Boston and the fans were just always supportive of him and there for him and always had his back no matter what he did on and off the court. And my fifth one is about the Celtic Laker rivalry. rivalry. <clears throat> this is important because of the longest, for the longest time of when Larry Bird and Magic Johnson played they were the big dogs and their teams were huge rivals. So, so Larry Bird and Magic Johnson are were two of the best players at the time and just having them go at it was a big thing and Larry also talks about how when he'd go and play in LA how the refs, or not the refs, the fans were just terrible towards him but this only motivated him to play better because even though they would talk smack and made him want to make them eat their words and just show them that he isn't bad like they said. Number six was the controversy with Isaiah Thomas. Now what happened here is he explains in the book that um, Isaiah Thomas made a comment that if Larry Bird was black 
he'd only be a good player. Larry didn't know how to take this, and the media was just blowing up with it, wondering, making its own thoughts and everything, and Larry thought that he meant by, as in, the league is filled with so many black players that he would only be good compared to them because it's the majority of black players in the league that they're all better, yet he didn't know how to take it, so it really didn't make much sense. And then Isaiah Thomas had to comment and say that he did not mean it in any way of disrespect or anything for to make him look bad or anything. He's just messing around, he says, but it was all just a misunderstanding. Anyways, number seven, his wife and him got a divorce, and this was very hard on Larry because at the time after he got divorced, he was in a bit of a slump for his game, and his team was not playing good at all. But then eventually he got his group back and started playing like he always could, and the team was doing better overall. My eighth important thing is in 1985 to 1986 season, he had back problems. Larry Bird had back problems in the beginning of this season, was projected to have to be out for a long time, but he managed to get better fast and come back strong. So he had his back problems and then he talks about how <clears throat> he wasn't going to be able to play for a while, but then he worked hard and through therapy and strengthening and got healthy and came back sooner than he was projected and actually at the end of that season he became MVP most valuable player for the league and his team was doing very well at the end when he returned. Number nine was learning from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Larry watched clips on Kareem and learned from him and watched how he played and saw his technique um, with his footwork and how he played. And one of the big things is Kareem liked to share the ball and always found his guys and made good passes to them. And Larry really loved this play of how he did it and he loved the style of the game. So he kind of learned from that and he put it into his own game and it all just got combined. and. He just learned from him, and it helped Larry become a great player, which was really good for him. And my final and number 10 most important thing is the controversy of whether or not Larry was in the talk of being as good as Magic and Jordan. Now, this is how Larry ended the book of whether or not he was good enough to be in the same talk as Magic and Larry, as or as Magic and Jordan, I need to say. And he truly believes that he is one of the great players to play the game, but he doesn't know if he's as good as them. But Magic Johnson believes that Larry is one of the best all around players to play the game, and that Larry is one of is the only player that Magic Johnson's ever feared. So that kind of just says it right there that he is a great player and he definitely could play with Magic and Jordan and play at their level of competition. Thank you.